Yo, what's up? Here I am, my secret location, my bunker. You might notice some new headgear I got. See this thing? Ooh, a little bend. Move it around. I got a chest thing for it. So you can go down like this. Yeah, I got my GoPro. Ready to find the big guy. Might even use some uh, paranormal investigation, see what I can pick up on it. Um, but yeah, I wasn't going to do a show this week because of New Year's or last week because of Christmas. And every time it approaches, I'm like, all right, let's do it. So um, not that I'm not enthusiastic. I just figured during the holidays I was going to take a break. But um, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to remind you that we have recorders out right now out in that location with the huts. Um, I'm going to have Wojo come on with me and explain his visit out to the woods that day. Um, him being a, you know, um, at one time an avid hunter and somebody that's been out in the woods plenty of times, understands animals, animal patterns and things like that. Even he was astonished with what we found. So I want him to come on and kind of give a different perspective, uh, uh, more like representing you, the audience, so to speak, um, from his perspective and see, uh, through his eyes, what he saw and what he thinks. Um, the recorders are in place the following week. I'm going to have the the Burks on, on the 9th. Um, I probably should tell them, huh? <laughs> no, it was briefly discussed. We just haven't confirmed. But that's the goal anyways. Um, and hopefully, you know, have something on the recorders. If we don't have anything on the recorders, we'll just tell you we didn't get anything good on the recorders. Nothing worth listening to. And then we'll go on and discuss other things about this location. So I want to kind of really focus on this location because I think it is something. Um, I think at one point in time coming up, we're going to find something that is pretty significant. I mean, I feel finding the structures I found was pretty significant. I have never seen them. I have put them out to the likes of Dave McCullough, Matt Moniz, Alec Petikoff, Mike Trainer. you know, really guys in, that understand this research. And every one of them were stumped completely, pun intended, um, at what this was and what it was that we have, what it is that we have. So we're going to slowly break it down scientifically, research this area. Um, if we have to sit out there at night overnight with my GoPro on um, and record that way, if we have to just continue to leave recorders in the area, different areas, close areas, whatever we got to do, they're all going to be mocked, categorized, and scientifically um, picked apart, so uh, inch by inch, so this is done correctly um, and with a scientific mind. Um, so we're going to go over that Tuesday, and I'm also hoping that I get my my buddy back on, Mike Trainer, because he's somebody that I always lean back on. Um, he keeps you balanced, sit, you know, gives it to you straight. Um, very intelligent when it comes, especially to this research. Um, so I think it's something that's beneficial to the show on a regular basis. Um, so Tuesday night, seven o'clock, I might run an hour, might run an hour and a half. I have no idea. Might shorten it to get caught up talking for two. I don't know, but I love your support. I need your support. I need you to continue to tell your friends to subscribe and like on my YouTube. Um, we're on different formats now. I believe we signed up for, uh, we got a, we're in with Spotify and, um, I don't know, iHeartRadio. We're going for all platforms. So. Those might just be recordings in the beginning, but we're going to end up uh, live feeding to all those platforms. We're just testing them out right now. So um, I need your help. I need you guys to step up for me, like, and subscribe. I need you to go on uh, banter with Richie B forward slash shop. Um, banter with Richie B.com forward slash shop. Go in there and buy some stuff and support the cause so I can be out here freely kind of doing this. Everything goes right back into the research. Um, so, that's what that's what our goal is to be able to be freed up to be out here out there more um, as you know we all have regular jobs you know what i mean so the more income i get coming in as far as my um, shop goes um, we can just put towards the gopros and the different things like that so um it'll be huge in this research so i want you guys to be part of that uh, make sure you're interactive like you've been um, watch for my after the holidays announcement for a second night of banter with Richie B um, pertaining to paranormal ghosts, ghost hunting. Um, we're going to go over the different types of uh, ghost hunting equipment that are out there nowadays. We're going to meet different types of uh, investigators. Um, we're going to get into all kinds of different remote viewings. I want to do a remote viewing with Bigfoot. 
Um, if you don't know what remote viewing is, remote viewing is um, a technique that you use. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but you can look it up. Um, basically, you're blindfolded and all your senses are taken away. Um, you shoot out the messages verbally that you get sent to you in your head, and then you make up a story from there as far as, like, what do they say? Or you try to connect the dots is what I should say um, of who was saying what, because I wouldn't know what the investigator is saying. You know what I mean? And and if it's anything that's connecting with what they're saying, then you know you're on the same wavelength. But look it up, read about it. You'll find out what it means. Um, so we're going to look into all those kinds of things. So I want you guys to be part of that, okay? Um, it's going to be really cool. We'll probably um, actually, actually record the remote viewing as it's happening so you can see it live or see it recorded or however we decide to do it. Um, but definitely make sure you go on. Check out my TikTok, Banta with Richie B., uh, my Instagram banter with Richie B, uh, banter with Richie B on Facebook page. I got like 200 something followers, need some more there. I got like 140 followers here. I asked for a hundred, you guys stepped up. I'm super psyched about that. Um, but I, well, we need more. So get the word out there, get pushing. If you haven't seen the last episode, um, of banter, with Richie B alphabet soup, you are missing something. It was just wild free for all. There was a mixture of paranormal conversation in there. But I just caught the guys off guard and just threw some crazy questions out. And they led down roads that I didn't think that we would lead down. So if you missed that, definitely, definitely watch it. It's a long one. But if you just put it on in the background while you're doing chores or whatever there might be or in a headset while you're working, you can listen to it. You don't necessarily have to see it. Uh, it is funny as hell. And I hope you enjoy that. We had a great time. Uh, tonight, actually, Sunday night, New Year's Eve, 630. There's an impromptu out there going on so uh, i'm gonna jump on that with a bunch of other podcasts this could be like 10 podcasts is being switched in and out and uh, just a free for all kind of like alphabet soup but um hopefully i've encouraged that mentality where we can just kind of have a show about nothing once in a while and kind of let go and have some fun so happy new year to you be safe please check me out on tiktok instagram facebook and of course youtube channel go on the youtube channel like and subscribe tell your friends please um, and go to that shop and buy the smallest thing, the cheapest thing. I don't care. Anything is going to help the cause. So um, I greatly appreciate everybody. I look forward to Tuesday night with Wojo. And uh, hopefully Mike Trainer will be there. And then I'm going to keep you all informed as far as the investigation going on out in an unknown location in Western Mass-ish, possibly. Happy New Year. Be safe call if you need a ride if you're my friend and you know me reach out to me i do not drink i will come get you no questions asked 3 a.m don't care god bless